Hey y'all, it's Share with Country Couponing Chicks, and we're going out to the garden, so I wanted to go ahead and get my supper in the oven. That's a quick and easy supper, and earlier today, I went ahead and I cooked my pasta, and the kids had this for lunch. They had some buttered noodles with garlic and onion and parsley flakes and some Parmesan cheese, and they loved it. So that left just enough of the pasta to go in and make a chicken Parmesan casserole. And this chicken Parmesan, this is nothing but sauce and chicken broth and some chicken breast that I put in the crock pot on Sunday and cook this until I could shred that chicken apart. And then of course I added in some spices like Italian, garlic powder, salt and pepper, and all of that good stuff. Now I'm going to take my baking dish and I'm just going to put my pasta along the bottom of my baking dish and I'm just going to scoop it out. Let me change hands here. Now I'm right-handed, so we're gonna see how this works with me trying to do it with my left hand. And the pasta, like I said, is already cooked and drained. And I just love the shape of this. I got this from Aldi and it's just a neat shape. I'm not even for sure how you pronounce the shape of it, but it just is something different. And I like picking up stuff at um, Aldi's in places that's a little bit different just to try different different flavor or different shape. So we're just gonna put this in here. And even though this pasta is already cooked, I still don't wanna take a chance on it drying out. And we're gonna see how this goes. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little chicken broth in the bottom of it, just to make sure that doesn't happen. So I have that on there. And then I made some homemade chicken broth this past weekend too, and I'm just going to see if I can do this without pouring, spilling it. I'm just gonna pour a little bit of this chicken broth. Now, I'm not not, a, not much, maybe, maybe a half a cup, just to give it a little extra moisture, just in case. And then I'm gonna see, because this has been in the refrigerator, I'm gonna see if I can pour this right over the top. And this will not take that long to warm up. Okay, we're gonna get all of that in there. I'll take that same spoon and I'm just going to shred it around the top. And then I'm going to come in with some Parmesan cheese. Get some more of that soft, soft the side there. That's a good part. Okay, and I have a bag of Parmesan cheese that I have already opened and it doesn't need any salt and pepper. Everything is already in there when they are cooked. And I've just opened up a bag of the Kroger shredded Parmesan cheese. They had these on sale for like a dollar and 49 cents last week at Kroger. So I stocked up. I always put a lot of bags in the refrigerator and the freezer when they go on sale and they will last in the freezer for quite some time. I love having the extra cheese. I'm gonna just use my fingers and spread that all around. My hands are clean, and I'm just gonna pop this in the oven, let it warm through, and let all that cheese melt on top, and then I'm going to serve it with some of my homemade bread that I also made this weekend, and I'm gonna turn it into some garlic bread. So we'll be back to show you the finished product. Okay, the cheese is melted, and Parmesan doesn't exactly completely melt like other cheeses do, but it is definitely getting good and crispy around the edges. You can see the bubbling inside of it. And I think it's gonna be so good. 